Hey everyone, my name is Ryan. Welcome to Two Car Pros, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to get a stuck brake rotor off of your car when you're trying to do a brake job. So the scenario is you already have the caliper off, you're ready to take the rotor, and it is just stuck on there no matter how hard you try to pull it off. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump in. So on any brake job, you might run across a rotor that is just super stuck to the flange and the center register, and how do you deal with that? Well, you can see we've already removed our caliper on this particular unit. You don't have to remove the mount for the caliper to get the rotor off, so that's kind of cool, and you can tell it is on there pretty darn good. It is not coming off. So let's dive into the couple ways that we fix that in the automotive world. So right here is the center register from the axle. We happen to be working on the rear of the vehicle in this instance, but you'll see right here, this actually physically grows with rust and so do the uh, flange surfaces behind it. We'll actually basically glue it to the hub or the axle tube. So we're working on the rear of a truck right now, and this does apply to the front and rear. It'll just look a tiny bit different, but you can see that they'll always have what's called a center register where the rotor actually uh, goes on top of, and it'll also have the machine surfaces between the rotor and whatever surfaces behind it. And rust will eventually make this kind of grow and swedge out, and it'll actually glue the rotor to whatever it's to, and that's what gets it stuck. So my first go-to is just good old reliable WD-40. Just spray it all around the center register like this into the stud holes where the studs protrude out from the rotor, just like that. And then just let it sit for a few hours, sometimes even overnight, that works really well. So I've let it sit for a few hours and it's still on there pretty good. Normally it should just slide right off, but we're not done just yet. We got two more tricks up our sleeve. So what we're gonna do next, and this is important for preserving the threads of the stud sticking out, is take your lug nuts and just spin them on, you know, a decent amount, maybe like that much on all of them. And you don't wanna go all the way down with the lug to the rotor. You want it to be able to have some movement. You're just protecting the threads so that way your lugs go back on when you're all done with the job. There we go. So now our threads are protected, we can get a good sized hammer and give it a couple of wraps right here on the rotor surface all the way around the rotor. Never, ever, ever hit the rotor on the actual part where the brake pad touches or on the other side of it, you know, trying to get it from the back. Never, ever do that. You can shatter this rotor and cause all kinds of damage to yourself, others, and the truck. So don't do that. Only hit the rotor right there. So let's give it a couple taps, wraps. And there you go, <laughs> nice and loose. That one worked perfect, but between you and me, let's pretend like it didn't. Let's say it's still on there. What do you do? You've been hammering away like a madman and it's still not budging. Well, we're gonna have to break out the big guns for this one. So now we're gonna break out a more extreme measure, just my butane torch. You can get these at any hardware store. We're gonna light it off. And what we're gonna do is heat up the metal right here, kind of where you were hitting with the hammer earlier and just keep going around trying your best to keep it nice and hot and just keep going what we really want this to be really hot and what happens is the metal of the rotor actually expands and we don't want to hit the register with the flame because we want the register to stay you know small and we want the rotor to grow by a tiny bit and that's going to you know help break up all that rust and it's going to expand it with the heat and this always works, it never fails. So this is really the hot ticket on a super stuck rotor. And then once it's nice and hot, you can grab your hammer and again, go around until the rotor comes off. And notice I am wearing some nice heat resistant gloves. Some oven mitts will work perfectly good. You just don't wanna burn yourself handling the hot rotor. We can kind of enjoy the victory of our spoils here, our little tech tip and finally get our rotor off. Sometimes it's a journey, but you know, with a little bit of patience and just a tiny bit of know-how, you get that rotor off and move on with your life. So on the center register here, what we need to do is get a wire wheel on a power drill or some memory paper, and we're gonna go around the center register and make this as clean as possible because we want our new rotor to fit on there and be perfectly concentric, because if it's not, you can cause all kinds of problems with the brakes functioning in the future, or you know, if it's on the front, it'll cause wobbling, wonder braking. It's just not good and avoid it. So take some wire wheel, 
we can already see that that is making a heck of a difference and I've only done a few passes. So make sure this is as clean as possible before we put the rotor on. So now I have the center register nice and clean. You can see that it's nice and shiny. It's the bare metal. And also I've cleaned the flange surface at the exact same time. And I know a lot of people are tempted to put grease here all around there just so this kind of thing doesn't happen again. But here's why you don't do that. Because under braking, this is gonna get really hot. And what happens to grease when it gets hot? It gets runny. And, it, and if grease gets on, I don't know, brake shoes, like this parking brake, or heaven forbid, the actual rotor itself, it'll prevent you from stopping, which is sort of the opposite of what you want. So now our vehicle is ready to accept its new rotor, and let's just pretend I have a new rotor, okay? It is the same one I just took off, but let's pretend it's brand new. And in this circumstance, I would also have cleaned this surface, the braking surface, with carburetor spray because it usually does ship with some sort of manufacturer's grease on there so it doesn't rust while it's sitting on a shelf waiting for you to buy it. Um, but again, let's just pretend this is a new rotor and check it out. It is ready to put the caliper back on, wheel back on, and hit the road. So that's how to get your stuck rotor off. It is not that bad. I promise you there's really nothing more to it than the tips I showed you. They always work. I've never had one that's beaten me yet and you won't either as long as you follow these steps. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please consider giving a like or even subscribing. It really helps my channel out. Hey, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.